Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Taurus at the foundation, please? Justice, Libra, energy at the foundation. Taurus, this is a new deck I got. The way I see it, this deck is showing us what's taking place behind the scenes, behind the original depiction of the tarot. It can also be an energy of seeing through the eyes of the divine, seeing through the eyes of the universe into your life from a vantage point that you've never had before. What I'm getting here, Taurus, there's a lot going on behind the scenes right now. There's a lot of energies being balanced out in your favor. We see these individuals here. They have a baby inside this basket here. And this is telling me that there's a lot that's about to be coming into your life, being birthed into your life. Things that are yours by divine rights, but have been kept from you until you arrange specific energies in your life in order to receive this. And what I mean by that is, Taurus, when it comes to manifestation, we really need to take our focus off of what it is we're trying to manifest and instead put our focus on what needs to leave our life in order to make space for this new energy that's coming into our life. It's like the energy of preparing a nursery, right? For this unborn child. Same kind of energy. This could be creative projects. It can really be anything. But there is an energy here of something very beautiful, I feel, is about to be birthed into your life. So it's very important right now, Taurus, that you're focusing on releasing energies from your life that do not serve you in your highest good. Make that space for all of these things you want to manifest into your life. So again, you don't need to focus on what it is you're trying to manifest into your life. You just need to prepare yourself for it, energetically speaking. Make room for it. Once you've done that, then you put yourself in the vibration of what it is you're trying to manifest into your life. You do that by creating space for it. That's it. There's no big secret to manifestation like they say. You just need to clear the clutter away. Prepare yourself to receive. What do we have at the sacral? What you want is is already here for you, Taurus. Three of Pentacles. Capricorn energy at the sacral. There's individuals in your life, Taurus, that have been working behind the scenes without you knowing it. These are individuals clicking up, talking about how they're going to do this and that and hold you back. This is you looking at what's been taking place here through the eyes of the universe. You're being given a different vantage point. These individuals are being exposed to you right now. These are the individuals, however this shows up for you, that need to be exited from your life so you can receive this new energy, this blessing. These individuals here are trying to do whatever they can to stop you from receiving these energies into your life. Because when you do this, when you start receiving blessings into your life because you've released people from your life, there's mass exposure that takes place because you start to see why you never got these energies sooner. In saying that, everything does happen in a divine order, divine timing, so there's nothing to worry about there, Taurus, but it's very important that you accept the truth that you're seeing around particular individuals, situations, whatever it is here in your life, so you can receive your blessings. The divine will keep holding these blessings back. Like I said, they're already yours. The divine's just holding them for safekeeping. But they'll keep holding these back until you clear that space. These energies have been manipulating the flow of energy in your life, Taurus. These are people that have been playing God in some capacity in your life. Telling you when to move and when not to move. 
how to do this, how to do that. It's time to release people like this from your life. Nobody, absolutely nobody, should be telling you how to live your life. And anybody who is doing that doesn't have your highest good in mind. You see, because people who did have your highest good in mind would say, well, Taurus, what's your intuition telling you? Right? See, these are the people that you want to have in your tribe, your soul tribe. People who ask you what your intuition is telling you when you ask them for guidance. Well, what's your intuition telling you? And if you're unsure what your intuition is telling you, they guide you in a way that allows you to open up your intuition. These are people who are spiritually awoken. They know how to use their intuition. And they know that they benefit by helping and assisting other individuals to do the same. We all win. It's a giving and receiving kind of energy. These are the tactics of a light worker, a star seed, people who assist other individuals in using their intuitive guidance to improve their life, thereby improving the collective vibration and influence that we all put out into the world by the way we live our life. What do we have at the solar plexus? Two of swords, Libra energy again at the solar plexus. These individuals here wanted you to be stuck inside some sort of fantasy. There's an energy here of illusions I'm getting, keeping you stuck at this crossroad. It's like an energy being stuck in this place of indecision all the time. You don't know which way to go. The more individuals try to guide you in your life, right, these people who don't have your highest good in mind, the more confused you actually feel. They're actually sending you further and further away from the direction you should be going, the opposite direction from your purpose. I'm looking at this horse in this depiction of the Two of Swords right now. I feel like this is the energy you need to encompass. It's like an energy of running free, no longer allowing yourself to feel confused during this place of indecision based off of the guidance you're getting from individuals around you, Taurus. It's time you start carving out your own path, realizing that you're more powerful than these people, Taurus, is really what it comes down to. I'm getting a minion kind of energy from these individuals. It makes them feel powerful to actually hold you back because they are aware of this light that you have inside of you. So they kept you in a place of illusions. I'm picking up heavy parents here. And parents are able to do this because they get us right from the point of inception. So we don't really know any other way. I'm getting the energy of some cruel parents here. Family members, something like this. Individuals that have always been in your life or people that you just really trusted. Taurus, I feel like you've been a pushover for a large portion of your life as well. Allowing people to take advantage of you. It's time you see the truth now and see that these are all tactics to keep you stuck. Waste your life minutes. Waste your life clock. There's something about you stepping into your power that is highly threatening to these individuals Something other than just the exposure of who they really are. But there's something else. What do we have at the heart? Two of swords at the solar plexus. This is you taking control over your life after a time of feeling very powerless and inferior. Hangman. Pisces energy. See, and here you are, right? Looking at your life through the eyes of the universe or from this other vantage point. It's like you're looking at yourself, right? You're seeing now all these people that have been against you. It's like they kept you in this place of suspension. You didn't see these individuals before. This is all being illuminated to you now. Because you're starting to see the truth, their true nature is actually coming to light. These people are becoming very distraught, very bothered, perhaps even violent, because you're breaking free. You're having this light bulb moment. 
you're seeing things from this higher perspective, this other vantage point. Goes along perfectly with what I said. Hangman is all about seeing things from a different vantage point, having a unique perspective over your life. Seeing where all the restrictions were placed in your life. All these restrictions were done by all these restrictions were done by another individual's doing. Keeping you in a place of feeling very vulnerable. Sacrificing yourself in some capacity here. Sacrificing your purpose. It's like here's your horse waiting for you to take off the blindfold and wake up. Like, oh my god, is Taurus finally going to wake up? I just feel this energy here, Taurus, of you just preparing to break free from whatever this is here in your life. You can't unsee the truth. You see it now. You see it clearly. This is you realizing how powerful you are coming online, right? It's like you come online, see that glow? That's you having all this intuitive guidance come through to you. What do we have at the throat? Seven of Cups. Wow. Scorpio energy. I think this is the first time I've pulled it from this deck. See, and this is you again looking at yourself from this other vantage point. You're essentially looking at yourself from the eyes of the universe. And here you are in this place of confusion. And these individuals back here are like, oh, Taurus, look at, you have so many options. And these are the people that have created the illusions to keep you stuck. You're like, I don't know which way to go. Which option should I choose? But little do you know, there's a snake in every one of those cups, right? These individuals here wanted you to be stuck inside this karmic cycle of confusion. Never being able to see your way. Acting like they were your biggest fans, right? These illusions are coming to an end now. And with it, truth around who was involved in this. How many people do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's seven people there. So seven cups, seven people, seven illusions, something like this. Seven years, seven months, something like this. There's something around sevens here that I'm picking up. What do we have at the third eye for Taurus, please? Too many cards. What do we have in the third eye? Wow. Seven of swords. <sighs> Unbelievable. Aquarius energy. Seven of swords is uh, all about deception. This is what's been taking place here. It's like an energy that's been working behind the scenes in this very underhanded manner as a means to keep you stuck inside this illusion keep you suspended not able to see your way forward little do they know things are being balanced out in spirit this is why the illusions are starting to dissipate now because what you have coming to you that's being worked on in spirit is getting close so this is the next step you seeing the truth around your circumstances the people that were in your life these individuals are being caught spiritually speaking you're breaking free energetically speaking so now it's starting to show up in your physical environment it's going to happen in spirit first as above so below for some of you this could be related to um marriages divorces stuff like this i just got a message come through some of you are dealing with somebody who's having an affair behind the scenes trying to keep you in a place of illusion keep you in a place of suspension not able to see the truth it's like this person went out of their way to create some sort of an illusion that's definitely a storyline for some of you out there. But everything you've lost from this Taurus is going to be replaced in your life, however that shows up for you. There's this very sneaky energy, like people clicking up behind the scenes, like, ha, 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 do you see when I had Taurus in that illusion today? And they're like, yeah, I saw it, ha, ha, ha. Taurus thinks they have all these options, but it's just an illusion. There's snakes in all those cups, right? It's just, it's very sick, Taurus. And I feel that you're going to find out I feel that when you find out all the individuals that were involved, it's going to be very shocking to you. It's going to be very upsetting. However, you're going to be transitioning so quickly from this energy, you're not going to have any time to wallow in your sadness. I also feel that the divine is working with you on an emotional level, so you release this quickly. It's almost one of those things where it's so shocking when you find out. It's so trifling that you're not even sad. You can't even begin to comprehend the level, the level of wickedness that these individuals have 
involve themselves in in order to do this. I just get an energy here of you being so desperate to move on and get away from this. You realizing you were in some sort of den of demons. It's an energy like this. You just need to get away and then deal with your emotions once you're transitioned on. I know this energy well. Smart move, Taurus. Put your emotions to the side. Get yourself to safe grounds, however that shows up for you, and then deal with whatever healing you have to overcome. What do we have at the crown? The Hierophant. God at the crown. Taurus, I felt it earlier on in the reading, but this just further confirms what I was feeling. You have a very powerful force working in your favor right now. Justice at the foundation, Hierophant at the crown. This really says it all. It's like God has gotten the blueprints for your life. And it's like God is shocked. He's like, what? They did what to my Taurus? This is also Taurus energy, Hierophant energy. But it's like God is even shocked. It's like the archangels have gone to God and they're like, God, we need you to look over this. This is, this is crazy what they put the Taurus collective through. And God's like, send in everything we got. And this is how it's showing up. Things are being worked on behind the scenes, right? What do we have? The foundation for my bulls? Let's see what demons are trying to keep your root chakra blocked, please. Four of Wands, Aries energy, Person. This is an energy of moving on, transitioning out of this cycle that you're in, right underneath this justice here. So this is what's being worked on here. This is all a part of it. It's like you move on and then the blessings come through, but you must detach from this energy here. You can't allow it to have a point of access to you anymore. What do we have at the sacral, please? Page of Pentacles, Marax, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It goes along with what I've been saying here. I read these um, as reversals, Taurus, because they're negative polarities. So Page of Pentacles in reverse energy, this is an energy of missing opportunities, lacking any sort of progress in your life, having a short-term focus. This is what these individuals were doing, controlling the flow of energy into your life, stopping opportunities, keeping you at this place of indecision and crossroads, can't see your way forward, missing opportunities, Always surrounded by some sort of bad news in your life. What do we have at the solar plexus? Ten of cups, fur fur. And for a lot of you, like I said, this was family. And again, for some of you, marriages. Ten of cups in reverse energy. This is all related to broken marriages. Things having to do with your family. It's an energy of separating from family. It's an energy of loneliness and loss. Financial losses in your life as a means to keep you stuck. Too absorbed in the material by way of bad influence in your life, keeping you stuck in karmic cycles. See, there are some lessons here. See, Taurus, one of the lessons here that you need to learn is how to release anything material from your life. Because when you don't and you sacrifice your own well-being on a spiritual level for material needs, this disconnects you from higher source energy. See, source energy, God, wants you to know that Everything will come back to you, and it'll be much better. Everything will be returned to you tenfold. Once you release yourself from these stuck energies, don't keep yourself in any sort of karmic cycles based off of anything material. Let it all go. It can all be replaced. Taurus is a fixed energy. They don't like change. Same with Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. I'm a Scorpio, and I have a Leo moon. And I have Taurus placements as well. So I know this energy. When you're comfortable, you're comfortable. You'll put up with all sorts of garbage. But this right here, this is a spiritual crime taking place. These individuals are keeping you from your highest potential, highest good, from stepping into your purpose. 
This is a slow death when you're stuck inside these energies. All they have to do is run out your life clock, Taurus, and they've got to win over you. The Matrix, the devil, will work through these people so you don't wake up to the fact that you're a high vibrational light worker and you came here to lift people up, wake people up, show people the way. See, you're armed with great wisdom once you close out this cycle. Wisdom that cannot be bought. This wisdom is knowledge that the collective needs to hear. Your story is priceless, Taurus. What do we have at the heart, please? Three of Swords, Rom, Libra energy, again. Quiet solitude. So whenever I get this, it's like a vulture chewing on a deer carcass. And it's like... There's like a stampede of deer coming towards this vulture because they see the vulture now when what it's doing, it's feeding off of, let's say, this deer carcass's soul, right? This vulture's like, yes, I'm a demon, but I cannot help it. It's, it's just who I am, right? It's like you're seeing people for who they are now. You're seeing how they were feeding off of your soul. Again, this is an energy of divorces for some of you. It's an energy of heartbreak, but you are going to heal from this. You just need to get yourself to safe ground so this energy can't feed off of you anymore. You can't beat these energies, Taurus. You just need to remove yourself from them. You just need to remove yourself from the environment. That's how you beat it. You starve them out. See, they feed off of your energy. When you remove yourself, that is you actually defeating them. You don't even need to come up against them. You remove yourself, and it starves them from being able to feed off of your energetic supply. EIZL, Divine Comfort, Page of Cups from the Angel Tarot, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces Energy. So this is you now having these new beginnings in your life. Creative sort of energy. Very, very intuitive. Very synchronized with your higher self on this new timeline, a refreshed kind of energy. There's also an emphasis on physical conditioning. So this is something that you guys may want to add into your routine. It will help you ascend. It will help you transition, energetically speaking. Giving back to yourself in health is always the number one way to reinforce any sort of ascension or spiritual work you may be doing or you may be undertaking, always. Your physical conditioning supports your spiritual health. You go from a place of being surrounded by bad news, Page of Pentacles energy, and you move into a space of being surrounded by good news, opportunities, new beginnings coming into your life, Page of Cups energy. What do we have at the throat, please, from the Angel Tarot? Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sag energy at the throat. God the good in himself. Protection. Prevents discovery of secret crimes. Saves exiles. So this is the energy you now move into. It's a very confident, courageous, very action-oriented energy. I'm just feeling... Um, well, you know what it is? It really is an energy of the bull charging forward now. After a time of spiritual slumber let's just say that it's like you see the truth and you just get up and you're charging forward and you're knocking over all these energies they don't even stand a chance and god's gonna make it that way god looks hella pissed off right there doesn't he it's like he's in shock he's like i will not allow this it's like he's reading something there What do we have at the third eye? What do we have at the third eye, please? Hangman. So we have Hangman twice now. Nichael, Pisces energy. The only God. Desire for knowledge. Protects from liars, evil spells, and bad spirits. And here you are. Armed with this wisdom. Exactly what I said, Taurus. Having let go of these cycles, but being left with 
the beautiful gift of wisdom. Knowledge on how one completes these sorts of karmic cycles in their life. Seeing this as more of a gift now. Because of what you're being blessed with. It's like this is some sort of spiritual boot camp. It's like you had to go through this to get to where you are now or where you're going to. You're all going to be on different parts of this timeline. So take it as it fits for you. What do we have with the crown? Two of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Poyel to close out the reading. God who supports the universe, fortune and fame fulfills any request. You are now entering a time in your life of balance. A lot of opportunities coming into your life and you having to prioritize and adapt to this new timeline. You're now being positioned to give back to the collective based off of your struggles. You see, I believe that our purpose is always going to be connected to our greatest struggles in life. You overcome those struggles and you're left with the wisdom on how you close out those cycles, those struggles. So, it only makes sense that our purpose would be connected to that. I'm getting a very unique energy. There's something about your story, Taurus, that's very unique. It's all related to your purpose. Your struggles are all related to your purpose, Taurus. This will become clearer to you the more you release from these energies. You just need to keep going, keep releasing, and making space for the manifestations that are birthing into your life. Taurus, this is the energy that's available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.